drawing a regression line or trend line in Excel. Here in this Excel sheet, I had inserted data for 51 students and I had split the data into two variables or two set of data. The first one is labeled as number of hours and the second variable is the mark or the score in a exam. So for the first student, he had studied for 15 hours and he achieved a 95% uh, mark in a exam for a specific subject like science student number 46 had studied for six hours and he achieved a 75 percent mark the data also labeled as x and y to draw a regression line it is important to de to split to determine which data will be added into the x axis and which data will be on the y axis so the data for the x axis is called the predictor and the data for the y axis is called the outcome and to draw a regression line first of all we have to draw a scatter plot the objective of the scatter plot is to look at the relationship or the correlation between the uh, two variables, the predictor and the outcome, and then determine what type of relationship. Is it a linear relationship? Is it a positive or a negative? I.e., when there is an increase in one data, there is an increase in the other one and when one of the data is decreased the other one is decreased this is what it means by in, uh, positive or a negative relationship once the scatter plot is drawn and the relationship is determined then the software will try to draw a regression line or a trend line that best fit the data once this trend line or regression line is drawn, it is possible to generate a regression equation. And the significance of this regression formula, it can be used to predict an outcome from certain input value, i.e. the uh, outcome or the mark for specific individual or the percentage for specific individual can be predicted based on the number of hours he or she studied. So that is the overall objective of drawing a regression line. And the, the way to do that, first of all, select the data to generate a scatter plot then in the menu here select on click on insert and then select the chart and then select the scatter plot excel will generate automatically a plot that represent the relationship between the value on the x-axis and the value on the y-axis. I'm going to do a few editing here. If I click on the add charts elements here, I could add a title for the x-axis and a title for the y-axis. And I'm going to change the title of the plots into each which is hours versus the marks for each individual and on the x axis is the number of hours each individual student had studied for so we label that 
hours and for the y axis I'm going to label that as uh, marks for the scores achieved by each individual participant and I'm um, going also if we click on the plot here or the graph and click on the plus sign I'm going to get rid of the grid line and uh, I'm going to do also further editing as we can see here that the lowest mark by the students in this data or group of data is 40 so I'm going to read, click on the data here and then select the data here and then I'm going to uh, axis click on the axis options and I'm going to select the minimum value to be 35 and if I click on the 35 the data will be the score will be start the y-axis will be from 35 as shown here and if I want to um, insert a regression line or a trend line uh, just click on there are several ways to do it either from the uh, chart and then trend line or from this plus sign and then click on the trend uh, line and automatically a uh, line is uh, inserted and I could also scroll down further and look for more options and then um, as we have selected here the linear uh, line I'm going to take the box for the R squared value and the box for the displaying the regression equation on the chart. And as we can see here, a uh, formula is generated or an equation and I'm going to increase the font size uh, a little bit more as shown here. And I'm also going to change the color of the regression line by double clicking on it and then select the color and I'm going to make it red colored and I'm uh, going to change the line into a straight line rather than a dashed line and then increase the thickness of the line. So now from this graph it's clearly shown that the data on the x-axis is the number of hours each individual student has studied for and the y-axis is the percentage or the mark from 0 to 100 and as you can see from the scatter plot that there is a positive linear relationship between the number of hours studied and the total score or mark. Excel has already generated the regression equation as shown here i have placed the representation of this equation y stands for the outcome and uh, p notes is for the intercept and the intercept which is in this case 51.035 the intercept is the value of the y when the x equal to zero and uh, the P1 represent the gradient or the slope multiplied by X. So that's what the regression formula here represent. We could also calculate each part of this equation separately. And the way to do that first, to calculate the correlation between the predictor and the outcome. To do that, click insert equal sign and then type correlation. Click on the correlation and it says insert the array number one and array number two. And in this case, I'm going to insert the predictor first and then separate that by a comma and then insert the second uh, day set of data which is the outcome and if I click enter a value of 0.85 is generated so reducing the decimal point to calculate the r square what does this value mean it means that the the relationship between the predictor and the outcome is linear and it is positive 
to calculate the r square insert the equal sign then insert the r value here select the r value insert the multiplication sign and then insert again the r value here click enter a value of 0 0.721 is generated which is equivalent to the r2 calculated by the software here what does this mean that this value value means that 72 percent of the variance in the outcome can be uh, uh, explained by the predictor to calculate the slope again insert the equal sign type slope and there is a function or a command in excel called slope and to work out the slope first insert the data as it's shown here in this order the data for the y-axis have to be careful here first the y-axis comma then the data for the x-axis and then hit the enter key a value of 3.59 if we're going to reduce this into two decimal point which is equivalent to this one value here in this equation to calculate the intercept again type intercept a command is available in excel and to again we need to add the data as shown here data for the y-axis uh, uh, separated by comma and then select the data for the x-axis and hit the enter key going to reduce the decimal into uh, 51.035 as it's shown in this equation so now we have the value for the slope the value for the intercept we have the equation here the regression equation it is possible to use the regression equation to calculate the outcome for any given value for the um, hours studied by students so let's say if a student has studied for six hours what will be the uh, predicted mark or predicted outcome from this study i.e what will he, what will he achieve in the exam so we'll use the equation here by inserting the equal sign and then we will use the 3.6 which is the slope multiplied by six hours we'll add to that the intercept value which is 51 and if i click on enter the student would have if he studied for six hours for the exam he would have achieved a 73 percent mark based on the data we have here based on the regression line drawn here and based on the equation given here so this is the benefit and the useful the useful application of the trend line or regression line to work out the regression formula or equation and then to predict an outcome if a student has studied for 12 hours we could also change that from 6 to 12 and we get a mark of 94 percent so here we have a regression model based on a regression line with a regression formula and from that model it is possible to predict the outcome in this case the uh, mark that could be achieved by the student this is the way to draw a regression line in excel and use that regression line to predict an outcome